Hey everyone, this is Sumlock24, and today we're going to be talking about a really broken deck. I'm not sure who made it, but uh, I encountered it during the KC Cup, and basically it's a free win. I'm not sure if it's uh, at tier 0 yet, but I mean, it's pretty close because you basically can't do anything against it. And I've played against a ton of decks. I'm not sure which replace I saved, but uh, we'll go ahead and take a look at them here in a bit. So the deck uh, uses 3 star demotion with Paradox Brothers, and it's. Um, it just takes advantage of uh, the fact that you don't have to be under a thousand life points to activate three stars of motion. So here's a deck list, two Lava Golems, three Sui Jin, one Cassijin, uh, three Sangha of the Thunder, uh, three Bubonic Vermin, three Burning Land, uh, two Stray Lamps, three Mask of the Accursed, and a Windstorm. So basically what you want to do is um, open up with one of the uh, I guess one of these guys, Sui Jin, Kasa Jin, and Sangha, uh, using 3 star emotion, uh, was well, not a special summon, it's a normal summon or a normal set rather. Uh, and then have your opponent attack it. After that, they're gonna take 2200 or more damage. And after that, you just use the uh, the Burning Land and the Mask of the, uh, of, of the Accursed to go ahead and win. And they can't do anything. Even if, even if you were playing against Gladiator Beast, if, if they just tag out and take the Mermel out, there's, it really doesn't matter because they've already taken the 22 damage. Uh, and then you just burn them down with the uh, with the Mask and the Burning Land. So let's go ahead and get into some of the replays. And this this deck is just complete, complete cancer. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure who made it. I, again, it, it was just uh, who played against me. And uh, when I started playing, it went from, I think, uh, last time I played, I was on DL, uh, DLV, I think it was 9 or 10, and then I went undefeated all the way to 15, because, I mean, the deck's just, people aren't expecting it, and it just destroys everything, and uh, it wins the games within, like, two or three turns. Uh, it's extremely quick, and hopefully my replays load. Alright, there we go. No, the person's gonna be against Mokuba, I guess. I think he's playing. I'm not sure if he's playing Phoenix or uh, or Blue Eyes. Don't remember. But anyway, even Phoenix has a, an extremely hard time against this because uh, they can't get rid of the uh, the the Gate Guardian pieces. This is basically a perfect hand. You activate three star emotion, you set the Sui Jin. And the Sui Jin, I think, is the better one of the uh, the because he has 2400, uh, what is it, uh, defense. And uh, one of the things that I that I do with the deck is I tend to get carried away by summoning these guys. And you kind of don't want to summon them, you always want to have them set. And I think that the way I was playing it, I was kind of... I was playing it way too aggressive where you only really need to have them set. But uh, anyways, it didn't matter in this game, but most of the time it's, it's better to just go ahead and set and wait for the opponent to attack into them. Okay, so we already did Mokuba, let's do this one. But I think this was a Phoenix. I think, uh, yeah, I definitely think there's Phoenix. Again, the, the Phoenix deck can't, can't really do much of anything against this deck. Alright, so I did restart because this hand, uh, well, he didn't, I didn't restart, he didn't restart. I think I restarted, no, I used a 3 star motion. I don't even know what I'm talking about right now. But uh, anyways, I did use 3 star motion to uh, um, summon the, the Sweet or not summon it, but set it. Because it's at 2400 defense. Get Yaksha, and I'm not really sure what this guy was doing because he was just cycling through the uh, through the Fire Kings. He wasn't really doing much of anything. I think he kind of got unlucky that he didn't draw a uh, what is it the uh, the Phoenix, and then here he takes 2,400 damage. He does actually the super, but it doesn't really matter because uh, you don't need it anymore. I think. Or I don't remember if this guy won or if I won. Anyways, I, I don't think I lost many games. This may be one of the ones I lost. But again, Phoenix does have a really tough time against his, uh, against his deck. I 
And again, he was just uh, doing some weird cycling. I'm not really sure what he was doing. I guess he was just digging through the deck and trying to find uh, an out. My opponent line goes through. He searches another parking island, and then I did get a, a, a mask. So I go ahead and mask this uh, the, the Baron. That he surrenders after that because really, I guess he didn't get a phoenix but even if they do get a phoenix it's it's really hard for them to come back especially if I'm able to summon another piece uh, this one I think was just a standard field of warriors I think I'll hmm, I can't remember what I lost to I didn't record the, the losses because the they weren't really that good enough. I think the losses were mainly because of a uh, bad hand. Okay, I think it's Queen Samurai's maybe. Don't really remember much. Uh, but it's really just go ahead and push the motion. The attacks. And I decided not to use the effect as of uh, just wanted to keep him just in case. Because I did send him the lava golem. But he does take a thousand for the lava golem. He copycats, which I'm pretty sure he didn't know what the effect of using was. So he is going to take 2400 damage per game. Uh, a phoenix and I think I lost to uh, a phoenix and maybe a uh, a gladiator beast deck I think but most of the time uh, if the gladiator beast matchup is extremely easy and all you have to do is get them to attack they take 2400 and then you burn them for damage and even if they manage to go ahead and get two of the uh, of the gladiator beast you just lava golem them and they just can't do anything after that And if you have three uh, straight arms, I think you, you might need to run uh, three. I only have the two because uh, uh, way back I needed the extra SR ticket force. I don't remember what it was, but I I traded one of the, the straight arms. I didn't think I'd, I'd need him ever. So I got rid of him. And now after this, I saw this deck. I'm like, I should just kill this one. But uh, he anti-magic arrow, so I was fine. He attacks. I think he switches, uh, switch, uh, switches out for a Mermelo. Gets rid of the, uh, the, the thunder there. Yeah. Uh, this may have been a loss, I think, because I, th I think I did lose to a Gladiator Beast and uh, I think one Phoenix, maybe. I don't really remember the losses, but there was there weren't that many losses. Uh, he takes 2400. He's at 16. He brings out this guy. Destroys a back door. Destroys a windstorm. Change. Right. No reason why not the change is going to get destroyed anyways. I'll go ahead and mask the accursed and uh, I think the next game he uh, fusions into the... Oh, it didn't fusion. But anyways, I think it would have been better for him to just fusion. I'm going to mask the accursed and then... I mean, again, it's a, it's a really good matchup against uh, the Gladiator with these decks, but... Again, every now and then you do get some really bad hands where you can't do anything. But most of the time the deck is... I'm not gonna say it's tier 0 because uh, I think the only tier 0 out there was the, that uh, my Valentine... Uh, or not my... The, uh, what was it? It was that mill deck that you really couldn't do anything against. Uh, the Teo the Teo mill. And I think the, uh, uh, I haven't encountered any Cyber Angels, I don't, I don't know if that many people are playing it, but I think the, uh, that the Kitties would destroy the, uh, the face down Sangha, Suijin, or Kasajin. So maybe Cyber Angels are a counter to this. Uh, playing, and here I think I summoned the, the, the guy in the attack because I didn't want to uh, get hand of the Six Samurai. That was the only reason I summoned him in attack mode because of the because of the hand. And here he really doesn't have much of anything. And then he's gonna take a thousand for the and then I must take a thousand for the turn. Uh, 
Uh, that was unfortunate that I got that bubonic permanent, but uh, anyways, um, all I really have to do is attack for game because uh, it's just it was a little enough to go attack. But anyway, there's there's a deck. It's uh, an extremely affordable deck to use. I'm pretty sure it's uh, basically a budget deck because there's really nothing like high tier in here other than the, other than the lambs, and as you saw, you don't really need the the, the lambs that much. Uh, maybe the uh, the mask of the accursed and the uh, the burning land, but mostly everything seems kind of budgety. Uh, so you might be able to use this deck uh, if you're a free to play uh, player, since uh, everything it's really easy to obtain. Uh, the lambs, I think, are kind of the harder ones, but along with the uh, for the burning lands and the mask. But uh, anyway, let me know what your comments are, or what your uh, opinion is down in the comment section below and uh, let me know if you've uh, played against this or if you've seen this somewhere else uh, and uh, I guess if you like the video leave a like if, if you are enjoying my content do subscribe and uh, I'll see you next time